with TypeScript 3.8 comes a new functionality, which is called top level await. If we have a look at it, then we see that in order to use async await, we always had to use an async function and then a block with a then and the catch. And with top level await, we can just call await and we can drop the async. Let's see how it looks like. First of all, we will have a look at the status quo. I prepared a simple application using TypeScript 3.8 and Node.js. It has two scripts for the client and for the server. And the client is very simple. It just queries localhost on port 8080 and sends a payload with property number and a value of type number. And the server just listens on port 8080. And for every request that it gets, it has one handler defined. The handler parses the payload. Yeah, we will see that. And then it checks that the payload has the property number with type number and it sends OK if it is the case, otherwise 500 status code. The TypeScript compiler settings are fairly simple. We use the common JS module syntax because we are running on Node.js and the compiled output will be in years 2016. Our client application does nothing else than rendering the response from the server to the standard output stream and all error messages will be rendered to the error stream. After compilation, we will get our JavaScript code, which can be started in our Node.js runtime. If we check the dist folder, we can see that our client.js and server.js scripts are there. And if we run from a new terminal session, then we can also test our server. And here it listens on port 8080. We can also test our client script starting another terminal session. And if we execute the client here, then we will see that our server gets requested, brings back status code OK. Good. Next thing is to use async and await on top level. Let's await the server response. And we can use our existing code. We just copy it over and then we surround our await block with a try catch. And that's something I will just put here. So we move the working case inside the try block and then we create a catch block where we receive the error object and then we will cut our existing error handling, cut it out and paste it here into our catch block. Fine. So I'm happy, but my IDE is not. It wants me to change the module to ES Next and the target to ES 2017 because top level await is only available in a newer version of ECMAScript. So let's switch the module to ES Next and the target to ES 2017. That should do the trick. And we see it looks good in here. So let's rerun our server because we changed the code. So we need to recompile it. And then we see that it looks great in here. We need to do the same for the client. We need to recompile it. But wait a moment. Let's uh, go back to the server because I recompiled it, but I haven't restarted it. Now I did. And we see that it cannot use the import statement outside of a module. We have to tell our runtime that we want to use the ES6 module standard because we defined it here in the TypeScript compiler config. So let's go to the package JSON and there we can add a property called type. And um, there are two options. The module option will bring us the experimental module loader. With the legacy option, the common JS will be used, but we want to have this ESM module loader. We see that our server is running, but why is it running? It's running because I'm running already on node version 13. I will switch back to node version 12. Yeah, let's use node 12, 16, 1. And then you will see a problem. 
and this problem is that node 12 by default does not take advantage of the ESM module loader. Yeah, it doesn't take it by default. So you have to use node 13 if you want to have it activated by default. Let's quickly switch back to Node.js version 13 so that we can use our server again. Next thing to focus on is our client script. There we have another problem. It uh, doesn't recognize the await keyword in that context, so we have to enable it on a global level. If we have a look at the open source v8 engine then we can see that top level await is already there as a feature it has been implemented in v8 it also shows us that um, in the old behavior we always had to have an async function around await to use await but if we want to skip it then there is a flag which will activate a new behavior so in node.js 13 and beyond, we can make use of this harmony top level await flag, which I found in Excel's blog. And if we add it to our client script, then it will be applied during runtime. So we can restart our client script. And finally, it's working. So the ESM module loader there is there, we have status okay, it's still experimental, but for now the code is functioning. To summarize, we adjusted our TypeScript compiler settings, changing module and target. We installed Node.js version 13 and added a type property to our package.json file. And finally, we added the Harmony top level await flag to our client script. But why is it so complicated? It's so complicated because this top level await is very powerful. It can also await an import of a library. And that's something you have to be very careful with. There is a great talk that I can recommend. It's from Miles. He talks about the history of top level awaiting, and this gives some great insights. So check it out.